Hello everyone, this is JT. Today in this video, we'll be looking at the binomial theorem and how we can use it to calculate Euler's number. If you have watched my previous video on the binomial theorem, you would know that this is the binomial theorem over here. And if you have not watched that video, go check it out now. The link is in the description down below. So now we'll be using the binomial theorem to calculate Euler's number. And just as a quick recap, the binomial theorem helps us to easily expand a plus b to the power of n, where n can be any number. So now let's look at the formula to calculate Euler's number. To calculate Euler's number, the formula is 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n. And if you have noticed, this can be calculated using the binomial theorem, because in this case 1 is a and 1 over n is b. So now let's start using the binomial theorem to calculate Euler's number. However, in this case, we'll write a as 1 because in this case, a is 1. And b is 1 over n. So now looking at this, take note that 1 to the power of anything is always 1. So we'll be multiplying it by 1 and this is not needed. And we'll also write n choose k in this way. n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. And what we we'll have left is 1 over n to the power of k because following the laws of indices, what we'll get is 1 to the power of k over n to the power of k. However, 1 to the power of any number is always 1. So now, we'll be trying to simplify this fraction over here, but what we'll need to do is by splitting it into two fractions. So the first fraction will be 1 over k factorial, and the second one will be n factorial over n minus k factorial. However, for this case, we'll write n factorial as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way to n minus k plus 1 times n minus k factorial over n minus k factorial. So now, the numerator over here all the operations are multiplication, and so we'll be able to cancel out n minus k factorial in the denominator and n minus k factorial in the numerator. So this is what you have left. And over here, I'll rewrite this in another way because n to the power of k basically means n multiplied by itself k times. So now that we have this, I want to combine these two together into one big fraction. So the fraction will be on the numerator, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way to n minus k plus 1. And at the bottom, it will be n times n times n k times. So now that we have this big fraction, I would like to split it up into many, many smaller fractions. So what we'll get is times n over n times n minus 1 over n, times n minus 2 over n, and so on, until n minus k plus 1 over n. But what's interesting here is that as n gets closer to infinity, these numbers get very, very close to 1. And in this case, they'll be taken as 1. So multiplied by 1, and these all can be ignored. So what we'll have left is this. 
which means that the sum of all terms here, where k equals to 0 all the way to k equals to n. So what this basically means is first, we'll take k as 0, so we'll have 1 over 0 factorial, plus 1 over 1 factorial where k is equal to 1, plus 1 over 2 factorial where k is equal to 2, and all the way until k is equal to n. So until 1 over n factorial. So with the binomial theorem, we are able to calculate Euler's number. And as n gets bigger, Euler's number becomes more accurate. An example would be, if n is equal to 5, the approximate value of Euler's number would be 2.488. However, right now, Euler's number has been calculated to be around 2.718281818. Four five nine zero, and so on. I hope that through this video, you have learned how you can use binomial theorem to calculate Euler's number. Until next time, I hope that you have fun in math. This is JT signing off.